Yeah, and what can we learn from the players of yesteryear? You know, I'm a big fan of leg action in the golf swing, and boy, oh boy, do those players have it in spades. You watch my left leg here, my left foot here. As I swing the club back, those old boys and old girls used to throw that left foot off the ground and push the left knee across over here. That in turn will enable the right side to go all the way behind me. Then what they do on the return is stamp that down and that will bring the club into position. And it's that stamping action which they employed after the raising of the heel. So raise the heel and stamp down. The best analogy I can give you for that is a baseball batsman. They hold the bat up here, raise the leg up and what's the next thing they do is the ball comes towards them, stamp and throw. Why do they stamp? Well, on one leg here, not much balance. If they stamp down, it throws the butt of it into the ground, creates a huge amount of force into the bat and the arms, and bang on the way through. Bash. Same in a golf swing. If I get up to here, up, stamp, bash on the way through. So we have to utilize the ground to create some force in the swing. How do we do that? Get active with the legs and let that heel come off the ground. Now, if it comes off the ground and spin, you've lost balance and control. What you're trying to do is bring it up onto its toes here, stamp, and that'll swish the club down. When we make a golf swing, when we swing up, if I had scales or a pressure plate underneath me here, as I swing up, I lose about one third of my body weight on those scales. As I bring the club down, I gain about two thirds. We want as much mass going down, so the club comes down with power and then smashes into the back of the ball. Work on your leg action, let that foot come off the ground. Study the player's swings of old, Bobby Jones, great big left heel lifter. Nothing wrong with that at all. Lots of good players did it. Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, some great names in there. Don't get stuck on the wrong side of that fence.